The Gospel for Tuesday of the seventh week of Easter is taken from St. John, 17th chapter, 1st through the 11th verse. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Give glory to your Son so that your Son may glorify you, just as you gave him authority over all people, so that your Son may give eternal life to all you gave him. Now this is eternal life. They should know you, the only true God, the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. I glorified you on earth by accompanying the work that you gave me to do. Now glorify me, Father, with you, with the glory that I had with you before the world began. I revealed your name to those whom you gave me out of the world. They belong to you, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know that everything you gave me is from you, because the words you gave to me I've given to them, and they accepted them and truly understood that I came from you. and They believe that you sent me. I pray for them. I do not pray for the whole world, but for the ones you have given me, because they are yours, and everything of mine is yours, and everything of yours is mine. I've been glorified in them. And now I will no longer be in the world, but they are in the world, while I am coming to you. There are not many passages in Scripture that are a conversation between Jesus and God, but this one is so important. He's giving us a clear indication of what his ministry was about. It was about putting people not in touch with information, but the presence of God. He longed for them to enter into a similar relationship that he had with God, and that was one of intimacy where everything that Jesus has was from God and everything that Jesus gives is from God. They are one. And in a way, it's really hard for us to understand that we have that inheritance. God can dwell in our humanity as imperfect as it is and manifest himself. That's the message of Jesus. We are to live as he lived, to minister as he ministered. And we have confidence because Christ himself says to us, I'm praying for you. I'm praying that you'll allow the divinity in you to do the work you were meant to accomplish.
closing prayer. Father, keep us from reducing the beauty and the fullness of your message to something that involves earning our salvation by doing what we're supposed to do because we're told to. Open us to this amazing mystery that you are calling us to carry your presence, not just information about you, but your very presence into the lives of those who are ready, open, receptive. It's a work that we have total confidence in because it is you who've empowered us to do it. And we ask this in Jesus' name, amen.